Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Jenkins pipelines and specifically creating a Docker-based Jenkins pipeline that can build a Maven project that's hosted over on GitHub. I want to demonstrate to you the power of Jenkins and Docker as they're brought together as I compile and build this Maven-based application that I've got over on GitHub. As you can see, there's a variety of Java files here. And if I look at the root of this project, you can see the pom.xml file, which proves that this is indeed a Maven file. And I want to build this Maven file. Now, here's the problem. This is my local machine. I don't have Maven installed. I don't have Gradle installed, and I don't have Ant installed either. I do have Docker installed, Docker version 19.03, and with Docker, well, that's all I really need. You see, there's a, a special Maven Docker image. This is it up over on Docker Hub, and I'm gonna pull version 3.3.3 of this Docker image inside of a Jenkins pipeline and use it to build my Java application. So how do I do that? Well, I click the new button and I say, I'm gonna create a brand new pipeline. What am I gonna call that pipeline? I'm gonna call it the Jenkins Docker Maven GitHub example. It's a long name, but it'll do. I'll click OK. And then when this comes up, I'm going to scroll right down to that pipeline section. And I'm going to paste in a pre-configured Jenkins pipeline that I've already built. Now, here's the way it works. This pipeline, when it specifies the agent, instead of saying any or what you would normally do in a typical declarative pipeline in Jenkins, I'm going to say that this is going to run on Docker and specifically Maven 333 from Docker Hub. That means this pipeline is gonna pull that Docker image that has Maven inside of it and run all of these commands in there. And what commands do I have? Well, notice I've got this a git pull command, so a declarative pipeline. When you give it that GitHub URL, it will pull all the code from GitHub. I'm gonna ask for the version that Maven is currently using, and then I'm gonna ask the Maven that's inside of that Docker image to do a, a clean install, which will compile the code, run the tests, create that target folder, and then take the war file or jar file that I have uh, configured inside of that POM file and package everything into it and save it in the target folder. And so there you go. That is your Jenkins pipeline that pulls from Docker, pull clones a repository in Git, and then builds it. So I'm gonna click apply here, I'm gonna click save. And then of course, I'm just gonna click build now. It will take a moment to build. And of course, it's gotta to go to Docker, it's gotta pull that image, and then it's gotta run the clone and all of the associated commands. Uh, but when it's done, we will have built a Maven application without Maven even being installed on our local machine. And there we go. As you can see, we've now got a successful build, the whole Maven install has run. You can see that the results of running that Maven install is indeed success. And you can even see that all of the artifacts from the build are stored here in var lib Jenkins workspace. So even, all, even though all of this actually happened over on Docker in this Docker container, all of the artifacts were actually pushed over here into var lib workspace Jenkins Jenkins workspace. And there's the name of my project, Jenkins Doctor Docker Maven GitHub example. Jenkins Docker Maven GitHub example right there. There's the target folder. And then you can actually see the rashambo.war file that is generated along with all of the compiled classes and everything else that happened inside Docker, but then gets transferred into my local workspace just in case I need to upload it to Artifactory or deploy it to a Tomcat server. And there you go. That is how easy it is to write a Jenkins pipeline that takes advantage of a Docker container. Now, I will say you can take this one step further by creating a Jenkins file in the root of your Java application app on GitHub. Um, but I'm gonna cover that in the next tutorial. And there you go, that's how easy it is to create a Jenkins pipeline that can build Maven projects that are hosted on GitHub 
on Docker. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there, and we've got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins, Docker, Maven, anything that has to do with enterprise software development for that matter. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.